nice. Early in the morning. My 10.30 special. And what's over here? Leaf zips. Snuck on. Y'all know y'all need one of these bags. I'm about to chow down. Got the lightweight sketches on. You know how I do. Going them out. Get my step on. That cardio. You know what? Uh, today feels like a day of inspiration. I must say that. Because my cousin, he got the news. And he sent it to my phone and let me know that my favorite bodybuilder of all time, Kevin Lavroni, is going to enter this year's Mr. Olympia with a comeback. You know what I mean? And, uh, man, he's at the age of 52. He's trying to do the impossible. He's at the age... At 52 years old, in phenomenal shape, and he wants to clinch that first place win of Mr. Olympia over the five-time champ, Mr. Phil Heath. By the way, Phil Heath is a brother, and he has blue eyes too. I told y'all black people have blue eyes now. They do exist. None of that fake contact wearing shit back to the point that's amazing if Kevin Lavroni can come out of retirement and get this win because he's always placed second like he let's see he placed second four times you know and uh, he never won the Mr. Olympia which he craves he will get that win, I believe it. For some reason, I feel that he will win the Mr. Olympia in September. You know what I mean? And, of course, it's not going to be easy because Phil Heath, five-time champion in a row. Uh, it's, it's crazy because they're kind of like... Or, uh, they kind of like have the same type of built in a way like in the frontal the back I think yeah the back too uh, Phil Heath's got a huge back you know what I'm saying back muscles not no ass ain't no no fag shit so don't get it twisted but Kevin Lavroni did too in his heyday you know what I mean so Ah, this will be a showdown. I think this will be great for bodybuilding and inspirational to anybody who feels like if they're up in age and they feel like they need to just hang it up and uh, don't compete anymore. Kevin Lavroni can be the poster man for that to let people know that you can still win. You just have to have the motivation, the courage. And you have to give it your, you got to have guts to put yourself in that fierce training. And you, you, you damn near better be healthy as hell to compete at that age. At 52, you must be in tip-top shape. So, I'm smiling right now because... You know, all through, <clears throat> I guess, high school and uh, in my early years when I would follow bodybuilding, you know, that's one person who gave me inspiration that I looked up to was Kevin Lavroni and my cousin. <laughs> he always uh, looked up to Flex Wheeler. So when Flex will beat... Kevin Lavroni, 
you know what I mean? In competitions, he would be like, yeah, like that. <laughs> and I used to be mad. I'd be like, fuck. Well, yeah. So that's inspirational, man. <sighs> to know that he's going to compete this year. Oh, shit. Lindero, my old apartment. Me and my cousin and my brother rented this apartment when we were young men. <laughs> Kevin may pull it off. He may win. And if he places second again, still, regardless, that takes some mighty fucking guts to bring yourself back in competition at 52 years old and being in tip top shape. Alright, Tintubers, thanks for hearing my little inspirational speech, so to speak. <laughs> Feel free to sub, and I'll catch you guys on another one. No, -uh. about to go into my old liquor store, Landero Liquor Store, to get me a lotto ticket. <sighs> That's why I used to play lotto when I was a young man, in my early twenties. <sighs> How's it going, Chief? All right. Uh, let's see. Did anybody win that Powerball? Oh damn! All right, well, I'll get so I'll get a uh, let me get a mega, quick pick. Yeah, let's see if I got a solid buck on me. I want to break another five. <laughs> Shoot, if I was a rich man, it'd be over with. Nah, <laughs> I'll take care of my family. That's number one. Take care, you guys. Mm-hmm.